Here is X-ray wretch. That's his his legs. Stretch real easily. His his arms. Stretch and they go back. If you can see his uh, torso has like a skeleton print on it. His body is it's kind of transparent, but it's like this uh, Coca Cola color. This is his face. You can see uh, he has his metal neck brace on there with studs on it. It's pretty cool. He has this uh, really Joker like grin, and uh, his face is like this skull face. And the side of his head, you can see uh, some veins. And he has this really cool looking uh, mohawk. And his head moves all the way around. Okay, uh, this is his backpack slash vest. This is the, the front side. And uh, what it does is it opens up like this. And because his body is kind of transparent, um, the bulb in the back right there lights up when you press that top button. And uh, it makes for an interesting effect. You put the batteries in there in the back, you got to unscrew it. And uh, he has a cannon that attaches to this vest, which uh, I'll show you right now. This is the cannon um, without the missile pretty cool. Uh, it's spring-loaded missile launcher basically and you can see that on target it has his, uh, I think it's his brother, um, Stretch Armstrong and you see this is a side view of the weapon and this is the missile. The thing launches pretty hard. Um, you put it in and uh, it looks like this and I'll just launch it real quick alright and like I said it, it attaches to the backpack so let, let me uh, let me do that it's, it's been a while um, I don't remember how it goes oh, okay here it is it's not too bad uh, there we go. So it attaches on the backpack like this on the front por portion of the vest. Okay, so this is him um, in full battle gear mode. Uh, I, you know what I like about the cannon is that it's uh, it has a lot of a lot of nice detail on there, um, but let me remove that so you can see the rest of them better uh, and he comes with those goggles uh, you can take those off too just wanted to show you and I think you notice right here is his, his nifty looking weapon it's a uh, it's it's this cool looking uh, meat hook attached with a saw so it's like chainsaw looking thing right here and you see, it just it just slips onto his arm, um, easily removable. Okay, definitely, uh, definitely a cool looking weapon. Uh, so here he is, and like I said, his, his chest panel opens up, and that's when you know he can uh, flash. Um, and because you know he's semi-transparent, you know it, the light bulb glows from the backpack and, and uh, it makes for an interesting effect but um, when you look at the box right when you look at the box let's see uh, the example they, they show you okay um, yeah if you can see that uh, he, he doesn't light bulb he doesn't light up in in the light bulb color it's red you know in, in this one the actual toy he just lights up in, in like a regular light bulb color like a white so uh, I wanted that red effect uh, what I did was I got like this um, 
this transparent uh, plastic type thing, colored it red, and what you do is you get you get them like so, and you just slip it in between um, the backpack and the orange part, and it it fits in fits in like so, and it works real well. I, I wish I could show you, but I don't have batteries. Um, and and he does light up red, and it looks just so much more uh, cooler, or it feels more evil. So uh, that was one thing I modified. Uh, other than that, you know, it's a pretty interesting toy. Um, nostalgic, very. <laughs> so that's how he flashes, closes. It has a lot of detail on his accessories. Uh, even the figure itself, his face has interesting detail. His his uh, his neck brace thing, and you know, he's just basically a stretchy toy. <laughs>